Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day in Mosul Bay. A little cloudy, perfect, perfect snail weather. I haven't been updating, so just want to show you what's been going on here. They are really getting big now. And we're probably another month out, or just, just short of a month probably. And we're going to start harvesting and I will make sure to put a maybe some time lapse or just the whole experience of how to <laughs> harvest a few tons of snails. But there are many of them. Because it's daytime now, most of them would be chilling underneath. Trying to get as much shade as possible. So yeah, I just put out a little bit of feed um, to make sure that they can go through the day until tonight when we feed them again. Of course, there was no feed left this morning, which is always a good thing just means that they are enjoying what we're feeding them and they are getting bigger. I will do an update on all the feed. For now we're just hoping hopefully by the end of next month or in the middle of next month we can start harvesting. So I picked a big one this morning. <laughs> so it's it's three times bigger than my thumb and I mean I've got big hands. It's quite big. So they are ready to harvest. We are just giving it another, like I said, two weeks or maybe even another month. And then we'll start that whole process. I will keep you updated. Letting the calves graze a little bit. So we do have plants. Um, it was recommended that for the juveniles, when they're about two weeks or three weeks old, they won't really eat um, the normal snail food that we feed for the bigger ones. And obviously it looked like that underneath the tables too, but as time goes on and the snails eat them, they go away. It's a Chinese cabbage, um, like a red clover, and I don't know why, but some canola came out. There are some weeds, but we just leave the weeds because the snails would eat anything green. And uh, basically we feed them what the processing plant and our suppliers recommend. They want their snails to have and we buy basically buy it from from them and then we mix a little bit of extra calcium with just to help with the um the growth as well as the the integrity of the shell so yeah send me some comments some questions what do you guys want to know but this is it <laughs> 